Praise the Lord, Christian friends. Today's devotion is entitled, Grace to the Humble, and it is taken from Psalm 51 and 17 and 1 Peter 5 and 6. Psalm 51 and 17 says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. 1 Peter 5 and 6 says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. One of the fastest ways to commit spiritual suicide is to believe that you are a giant in the Christian faith. Believe me, there is no giant in Christianity. Man's righteousness is like filthy rags before the most holy one. Everyone may see you as a spiritual giant, but don't be fooled. To God, you are still a baby. Never come before him starting with your credentials, saying that, you know, I pay my tithes, or I preach the gospel, or I forgive my neighbor, so Lord, you have to hear me. That is spiritual pride, and God resists the proud, as First Peter 5 and 5 says. David was a man after God's heart, because he always came humbly before him, despite his achievements, despite his feats for God, and though there were many, he never boasted in his presence. He always came seeking mercy. That is the kind of a man, that is the kind of a woman that God can call a man or a woman after his own heart. Now, you may have done many things for God, but remember this. Remember Moses. Even after all he had done for God, he still did not get to the promised land. It is only those who remain babies in the hands of God, who can reach the promised land of heaven. In Matthew 5 and 3, Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Are you humble, or are you proud in spirit? Why don't you pray, Father, help me to remain humble in the mighty name of Jesus. God gives grace to the humble. Have a blessed day.